In this lesson, we're going to move notes around in a chord again to create movement. But this time, instead of just adding the notes like we did in the last one, we're going to add them by doing hammer-ons and pull-offs. So first, I'll explain what a hammer-on and a pull-off is. So a hammer-on is any time you pick a note with your strumming hand, and instead of picking it again to play, for example, if I wanted to play an open E on the first string, and then I wanted to play an F sharp on the first string, second fret, so instead of going, I would play the first one, I'd play the E, and then I would hammer my finger down onto the F sharp and not pluck it again with my strumming hand. So it'd be like, And then if I wanted to go from, say, F sharp to G, instead of going, I would only hit the first one and then hammer down on the second one. And what you have to do when you're hammering down is you have to hit it fairly hard to get that note to ring. Because you're replacing a pick um, stroke and just doing it with your uh, fretting hand. So you have to hit it right on, right in the right spot of the fret, which is close to the fret like normal, and get it to ring. If you do it too soft, it's not gonna ring, or if you hit it in a, in a funny spot, it's gonna buzz and stop ringing. So you just, that's the first thing to practice, just find any note, start, you can go from E to F sharp, like I did the first one. Hit the string and then hammer on and try it from F sharp to G. And then switch your fingers, so put your second finger on the F sharp and then hammer on with your third finger to G. And then do it with your third and fourth finger. Whoops. And that one's going to be really hard at first because you have to build up pinky strength to be able to do that. So that's what a hammer-on is, and a pull-off is the opposite. So pull-off, if I start on F-sharp, just for this one, if I play the note, and if I want to go to E, so instead of picking that, I'm going to pull off my finger, and I don't just pull it straight off, or that's not going to do anything. I kind of have to pull the string down and make it do that. So... You play the first one, and instead of just lifting your finger off or playing the next note, you pull your finger down a little bit to pull the string. So it's kind of like that movement, because nothing will happen if you just lift it straight off. You have to pull the string down. Or from G to F sharp. And with the other fingers. So that's the very first thing to get down because you kind of have to really practice that to be able to do what I'm going to show you with the chords. Um, it's just a whole other technique and it'll take some time to get down. So just do that and you can do it anywhere on the neck. I just chose those two notes, well, those four notes. And you can do it on any string, and it's good to practice with other strings just to be able to get that technique down. So hammer on and pull off. So what we're going to do within a chord now that you know what hammer on and pull offs are, instead of what we did in the last lesson where we played like that, we're actually going to hammer on those notes or pull them off. So for example, from D to D sus. So I just strum through, and then without strumming again, I just hammered my pinky on. So practice that. And that's going to be really difficult at first. It's not an easy thing to do when you haven't done it before. But once you get it, it's you know fairly simple, just like anything on a guitar. 
So that's hammering on. Now I'm going to pull off from that same note to the F sharp. So I'm going to hold the D sus and then I'm going to pull off to the, I'm pulling off from my fourth finger and keeping my third finger down. So from G to F sharp on the first string. And then I can do the same thing with my second finger. So go from D sus2 to D major. So. Pulling off from this F sharp to the open E is really hard, so we won't worry about doing that right now. So that's with the D major, you can go and just play around with it and try different rhythms out with it. So this time instead of just playing when you push your finger down, you're going to hammer those on and pull them off. And then you can do the same thing with the other chords that I showed you. So the A to A sus4. And this one, you'll have to use your pinky to do this hammer on. And that one's going to be fairly hard at first, so you're really going to have to just take time to practice that. And then you can go through with the C, same thing. So just really take your time on this. This isn't something you'll get quickly, and it'll be pretty difficult at first, so don't get frustrated, but you know, just take your time and practice it, and you'll eventually get it. For practice, I really want you to get these hammer-ons and pull-offs under your fingers. And you can start without the chords, just doing it with one finger at a time. You know, just like I showed you in the close-up. And really just get used to getting it to ring out when you do a hammer-on and when you do a pull-off. It's going to take a lot of time and practice because you haven't done this before. And it's not a simple thing to do, but once you have it down, you know, it gets easier and easier. So just work on it and don't get frustrated. So you can go ahead and move on to the next lesson. Just add this into your practice routine. Like I said, it's going to take time to get down. And I don't want you to stall out on this lesson. Because in the next lessons, we're kind of going to move on to something else. So go ahead and work on this as you're moving on to the other stuff. And we'll keep moving forward.